to identify cuprum persons in your practice I will share with you some of the practical observations which I have made for the remedy so far now if you are thinking in term of an adult cuprum then the most important thing is to that they are extremely rigid and uh, they have a complete control over their self and they are over disciplined and they constantly try to discipline themselves they are afraid of doing anything wrong they are so perfectionist that they constantly look that they should not be wrong in any way because if they are wrong then they are very strict on themselves and they try to reproach themselves they are extremely close people they are not so very open they are adults which I am talking about and so if anybody tries to make a contact with them they don't easily come out with their feelings it takes time for two reasons because cuprum people are usually timid in public places and especially to talk about themselves in public places this is very important and from that context I am talking about that they are little secretive and they will not open and they are close people they are very sensitive for they easily feel insulted or criticized they follow every rule to its deepest extent they are very rigid these people they don't like uh, much change they are ambitious but they are not over ambitious but they keep their ambition quite deep within themselves and that is why many times in their life they are not very satisfied with what they are doing because they still want to do something better now if you uh, try to understand the uh, delusion of uh, cuprum there are two delusions which will uh, clearly tell you about uh, what I am trying to mention to you now first is the delusion that they are selling what is known as a uh, green vegetables ah and there is also one more uh, delusion in the which has a similar meaning that they are repairing the chair now these two delusion that they are trying to sell a vegetable which is a very ordinary profession and they are repairing an old chair to me this appears very very common and uh, very very simple now such type of delusion such type of situation I correlate this with the ambitious part that they are not really satisfied with what they are and they want to go little ahead they, are, they, are, they want to become ambitious because then exactly an opposite feeling comes in within them also in the field of delusion where you will see that they are great people they are general they are great persons they are the best and this type of thing I have seen frequently in children that such children are usually ambitious they want to be the best they have little dictatorial attitude they love to control others especially friends classmates siblings they are extremely independent and somewhat egoistic not to ask help from people very easily they love leadership like causticum and lycopodium and they assume responsibility they are quite persevering like ferrum and very determined they never give up they are conscientious very rarely they can be tight-lipped to the point of being secretive like Baraitaka and Grimm 
so this is from the emotional aspect uh, that uh, I could uh, identify uh, cuprum. The other less important things which I have seen but not so frequently seen is the love for plants, the hyperactivity, the restlessness in children, desire to mimic somebody, to make foolish behavior, to play antics, make ridiculous gestures. They run, run about all the time, just cannot sit in one place. Even when it is a time to go to bed, very difficult to keep these children in bed because they toss about very restlessly. The history of fright in such children is very important aspect uh, that I have observed as a causative uh, factor. But in adults, the most common thing that I have seen is the suppressed anger or the suppressed excitement. This is the very important cause that I have seen in uh, adults. In pediatric age group, the result of fright will directly be ending with a neurological problem. As you can see in stramonium, opium, carcinosin or in pediatric age group you can also see a sexual abuse that induces a neurological problem as you will see in phosphoric acid and uh, staphysagria. Cuprum people are usually chilly yet they love cold water. This is very characteristic that even though when they are chilly they love cold water. They have a marked desire for certain foods. The most important food that they love is what is known as the cold food or it could be warm and steaming hot drinks or warm and steaming hot foods they have got a strong aversion to boiled potatoes they have got lot of aggravation from milk flatulent food and cabbage the frequent thirst for small quantities of cold water and nausea and vomiting which is better by drinking cold water is highly characteristic of uh, cuprum. There are two areas where cuprum will have lot of problems in adult. One is the colon. They have lot of colitis. They have lot of colics. These colics are excited after any emotional upset, excitement, anger with the cramps and such type of cramps are better by lying down especially on abdomen or applying local warmth or bandaging the part or bending double. They may have ulcerative colitis where the stool is watery, bloody, frequent but never very copious. This is very important that they don't have very copious stool. This differentiates cuprum from veretrum alp. The concomitance to this is very characteristic that there is a great prostration from such tools. Then cuprum has got a very characteristic cuff as all of you know. And such type of a cuff you will see after measles or after exposure to cold dry winds. The constant cuff is accompanied by frothy saliva. The cough is worse, deep breathing, laughing, talking and better by taking cold drinks like ammonium causticum and causticum. The coughs are usually in long paroxysms. It is also an extremely good remedy for asthma in children when they occur in the early morning hours between 3 to 4 am or after midnight and the children are always better by bending backward or taking a deep breath. At the level of the skin you will see that the child's immune system is so poor or the reactivity is so poor that they many times cannot throw out the eruptions on the skin and the eruptions remain within the body they cannot come out and they produce other problems like neurological problems. 
giving a dose of cuprum will bring out these eruptions back on the skin and the reactivity of the child improves.